Welcome. I've done a number of videos on this cheap HDMI to USB adapter card, and I'll put a link in the description of this on Amazon and eBay, and if you use either of those links, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So one of the downsides of this is that you can hook up a source to this, like a, a game console or something, and you can plug it in on a computer and record it, but you can't see the screen. So I also have an HD game capture, and this has an input on this side here is the input. So you put your console in here, and then the output goes to your monitor or TV. And then you can capture it using USB there. So in order to give this that capability, I purchased one of these. And this is an REI 1 and 2 splitter, and I'll have a link below to this also. And this is a little box. And this has HDMI input here and it outputs two outputs that are mirrored to each other. So you could also use this to hook up to two different TVs if you wanted to. And it comes with a USB cable, so this is USB powered. So this has USB to a barrel jack. So it has a little instruction manual here that tells what everything is. So this has this EIDI mode, and that is the data mode, so it tells the um, allows the monitor to communicate with your computer and tell it what mode it needs. And it has this uh, copy mode and auto mode. And it says copy mode copies output to EDID to input port. And auto mode says compare output port 1 and 2 EDID. So I'm not sure exactly how that works. I'll have to play around with that. So I also got this little uh, cable. It's a one foot HDMI cable. And it's a slim cable. These are really handy because they're flexible, they're easy to use. I like these if you don't need a long cable. So to hook this up, I have my Nintendo Classic here, and that will be my source. So on this adapter, I'll put that in the input. And then the output, I have the monitor here. So the monitor, I'll just put in output one. And then output two, I'll hook up to my little mini cable here. like so. And now I'll plug the power in. And I'm going to try powering this off my computer. Okay, that power light is on. It's kind of hard to see. It's pretty bright in here. Okay, so the monitor is passing it through right now. This was already on. I didn't realize I kept it on. So I'll try and focus in on that. Okay, so this is the monitor. We can see the pass through is working. And it's very responsive. So even if you can monitor this on your computer, this is going to be faster than the computer. So I'm going to get it up on my computer and maybe try and do a side-by-side -side between the two. Okay, so on the left, I have it passing through the splitter onto the monitor, and on the right, I have my MacBook, and this is on QuickTime. So we'll look at the lag between the two. And you can't see the controller, but you can see that the top one is moving a little bit faster than the bottom. And I died. I can't see that corner of the screen very well. So using this cheap splitter allows us to have this thing act more like an Elgato game capture where you can you know, pass through the video. This is kind of an uglier setup because you have to have all these wires. It is nice when you use the shorter HDMI cable and um, like certainly I could tuck these wires away and make it look a little bit better. But this is a lot cheaper than the HD game capture. The HD game capture is technically better than this, but if you need something that cheap that kind of works, this could be a good option for you. And this does support 4K, and I'm thinking that means it'll pass through 4K. This device will read 4K as far as I've tested, but it doesn't record at 4K. The best this does is 1080p at 30 FPS. 
And this will also supposedly do uh, 3D if anyone's still using 3D. So this did have that switch on there. Let me see if I flip that if it does anything. So I did that on copy and it did the same thing. So I guess if it's not working for you, you could flip it back and forth. I'm running, I don't know what actually, I don't know if this is 1080p coming out of this, but. So if you got one of these cheap adapters and you're using it for something like gaming and you really want to pass through to a monitor, then I think this is a good add-on to that. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If there's anything you want me to test with this setup or this adapter, you know, drop a comment below because I'm always looking for new ways to test this uh, hardware out. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.